my buddy sent me a picture of this. Actually, this is his picture, and it looked like a great recipe. I said, how was he? He said, it was fantastic. Oh, i got to make it now. So I looked up the recipe, put it all together, and this is roasted potatoes with veggies, chicken, and sausage. That's a big title with a big taste to go along with it. Let's make it. So we're going to need a roasting pan. I've got this one. If you got a fancier one, use it. We're going to put it aside and we're going to build into that pan. The first thing we need is some peppers. Got nice colorful green, yellow, and red. Give them a rough chop. So it looks something like that. Or strings or whatever you'd like, however you'd like them. And into the pan they go. These are going to go on the bottom. Don't worry about them being mixed up. We'll get to that later. Potatoes are next. I got a combination of white and red. We're going to chop them up. If you got the smaller ones, like my buddy Kevin had, you don't even need to chop them. Just chuck them in the pan. So these ones we're going to chop into roughly equal sizes, nice bite-sized pieces. Now, our potato layer goes into the pan. And at the end of the day, this was plenty of potatoes for the pan. You want to put a few more and go ahead. Um, it doesn't look like there's a lot there, but believe me, you're going to have a big meal. We'll put the pan aside again. We need a red onion and a white onion. We're going to do half of each. So there's our white onion, just chopped up nice and small as you want. And that's going on top. Kind of like making a veggie pizza. There. Next up, our red onion. Once again, half. And we're going to chop it up into pieces also. You know, it does look like a purple onion, but hey. Name schmames. But it does bring some color to the dish, so I like that. And we're going to sprinkle that on top as evenly as we can, of course. There, that looks good. And we'll put it aside again and on to our next. Now, I've got some parsley here, and we're going to need it for the garnish. I don't want to start chopping meat and then go back to the veggies, so this way I can chop it up eh, about that much. Just one good bunch of parsley. We're going to put it in a little bowl until the end when we need it. Just like that. Set it aside. So here we are with our meat. This is three sausages out of the fridge. Hey, it was dinner a couple nights ago. These are leftover sausages. So they're already cooked. If you don't have any cooked, barbecue them, fry them up, whatever you need to do, and then let them cool down before you slice them. Slices about that thick there are perfect. Anything thinner, well, they get a little less juicy than you'd want. And I know because I've got both sides, so I could tell. So you got to watch. But it's going to make a nice amount of sausages. And any kind you want. These are hot Italian. And you can just have the regular regular style if you don't like the heat. I found that the extra little heat was really nice in the dish. There we go. Let's get them on top. Now at this point, if you just want to do the roasted potatoes to make it a veggie dish. You could have done that without the sausages. You could also do it with just the sausages too. But we're going to add the chicken because, hey, that's what the recipe said. So we'll put it aside. 
And our last meat, chicken. I've got four chicken thighs, bone in. And that's what it called for. And they're not all the same size either, for some weird reason. I'm not sure why. So we're going to give them two good slices along the bone. And those are going on top of our veggies and sausage. Now, however, we have to do a little bit of mixing. So I thought this was a great idea to put everything in and mix it. I probably should have just moved the chicken out till I was done. So we're going to spice it up a little bit. This is a eh, teaspoon and a half-ish of pepper, obviously to taste. And two teaspoons-ish of Italian seasoning. And now, of course, we've got to mix it up. See why it was easier to take the chicken out. But I was kind of thinking, I'll coat the chicken with the spices too. And if you want to add a little bit of salt, throw a little bit of salt in. Or any other spice you might like. Now, next up is about two tablespoons of oil. Just kind of drizzled all over the place. I might have put a little more than two. I wish I wouldn't have, but I did. And now we're going to mix it all up, chicken and all, very carefully. The idea is you want the olive oil to coat all of your ingredients, your meats, as well as your veggies. So I'm trying to make sure we got a nice glaze on everything. I think we managed to do that right then and there. Looks pretty good. Okay, now our last ingredient of course is the parsley we chopped up and I'm going to put all that on top sprinkle it up into an oven preheated 450 for an hour here we are at the half an hour mark I'm going to flip it around and it's looking pretty good now I wish I would have taken everything out and kind of moved it around a bit live and learn for next time but it looks good anyway chicken looks like it's almost cooked we still have a half an hour to go here we are at the hour mark. Doesn't that look good? That chicken, the skin is so crisp, and yet the chicken ends up being super moist. I was surprised after an hour that that chicken was that good. So here we are in a plate, and we're ready for dinner. This is a great meal, full of taste, and it's got everything for a great dinner. I'll definitely be making this dish again. Thanks, KC. Hey. Another great recipe. I hope you'll give it a try. Leave me a comment below, one way or the other. Listen, if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell because that'll tell you the next time I upload a video. Feel free to share this in any of my other videos. And thanks for stopping by and watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.